Hey everybody, guess what today is? Today is Taco Tuesday. You all, guess what? We have a special dedication today. You know we love doing special dedications for our friends. One of our crew members, her name is Condra Giles. Miss Giles is one of our friends. She's she just loves the popcorn kit. She has grandbabies who love to read. I promised her that I would dedicate a book to her grandbabies. Hey, grandbabies, I hope you love this story. When you enjoy it, let me know. I want you to let me know how much you love this story. All right, you ready? Here we go. The story is called Hero Cat, and it's by... Elaine Spinelli. Do you love cats? Cats are so cute. This is a true story, you guys. I want you to follow through and see if you can relate to this story. I love true stories. And I love cats. You ready? You know I'm going to make sure you see the pictures. It was March, cold and slushy. Time for Mother Cat to have her kittens. Seeking shelter, she dragged herself into an old garage. Hiss, snarled an old Tom Cat, shooing her away. Miss Giles, do you like cats? I hope you do. Next, she tried a black alley shed. Scat, cat, said two boys who were their trading cards. Wow. Looks like the mama cat is trying to find a place to have her babies. It's okay, don't worry. At last, she came to a dark abandoned building no one was there to chase her. Mother Cat lay down on some old rags with only her own breath for warmth. Look, Mama Cat's getting ready to have some baby cats, some little kittens. Do you like this so far, Miss Giles? Look, a Mama Cat. Miss Giles, you're a mama. So I know you know how that feels, being a mama and having little babies. She just wanted to make sure they were safe, right guys? Amid dusty machinery and empty cartons and rain puddling under the door, she gave birth to her precious kittens, five of them, black and white, gray, Siamese, white paws, and smoky. Look at all. They're so cute. Mama's feeding her babies right now. Look at them. So precious. Are you enjoying this story so far? You know I have to ask you that. Mother Cat nursed and cuddled them. She purred starry lullabies and licked clean their silky fur. Look at her. She's cleaning her babies. So precious. They look hungry, don't they? They look so hungry. The days passed and Mother Cat grew hungry. She nosed her kittens into a cozy heap and left the garage to look for food. They're all cuddled up. All they're gonna do is sleep until mommy gets back. She'll be right back, don't worry, she'll be right back. After swallowing a few fishtails 
and some stale cheese. She hurried back. Along the way, she heard fire engines. Oh no! She smelled smoke. And then she saw flames coming from the dark, abandoned building. The building where she was. She's thinking, oh my God, the kittens. She's running back to her babies. What do you think happened? Plunging through thick smoke, she ran inside. She heard frightening meowing. There was black and white huddled against the wall. The kitten whimpered as Mother Cat carried her out the door. That's black and white. Look at all the smoke around her. She's rescuing her babies from the fire. She dropped black and white on a wet patch of grass and raced back. Hot board scorched her paws. Oh no. Smoke made her eyes burn. She frowned gray and carried him to the sidewalk. There are three kittens left. Go get them, Mama. Go get your babies. Right, guys? Into the smoke and flames again. Tiny cries. Siamese. There, yes. Out safe. Good job, Mommy. Wow. The wind was rising. Greasy windows popped. Mother Cat went back. She heard crying in the rags that had been their beds. White paws. Mother Cat lifted him with her mouth, safe at last with his brother's and sisters. Good job, Mama Cat. Good job. Fire flared skyward. One more kitten. Smoky, heart racing, Mother Cat returned to the building. No cry, no scent, smoke. Building is all on fire and there's smoke everywhere. She stumbled into him, the ball of fur in the corner. Hardly breathing, she carried Smokey outside and dumped him with all the others and collapsed, exhausted. Her paws were hot. Her little belly is, look at her. Look at all her babies. She has one, two, three, four, and five. Look at mama. She was determined to get her babies out the fire. So mama loves her babies. Hours later, Mother Cat woke up in a soft, blanketed box. She could smell and feel her kittens around her. She pressed her nose against each one. All together, Mother Cat were together at once. A photographer took a picture of them. Cute kittens, he said. Brave cat, said a firewoman. A fireman knelt by the box and patted Mother Cat on the head. More than brave, he said, this cat is a hero cat. She sure is. Author's note. I was inspired to write Hero Cat 
after reading the true story of a homeless cat who rescued her kittens from a burning building in 1996. They were discovered by a firefighter, David Ganali, who took them to an animal shelter on the north shore of Long Island, New York. When the cats recovered from their ordeal, they were adopted into loving homes. The family who adopted Hero Cat named her Scarlet. I wrote this story to honor the 10th anniversary of Scarlet's heroic deed. Elaine Spinelli. And here is Scarlet and her kittens. It's an actual photo, guys. The end. Miss Condra Giles, I hope you enjoyed this book. I sure did enjoy dedicating it to you. Hey, friends, Miss Giles has a fun YouTube channel, and if you'd like to visit it, it's going to be listed on the dedication page. I hope you enjoyed this story, and I am so honored to share stories with you. Happy Taco Tuesdays, guys. Don't forget to say, I am the greatest. Miss Giles, you are the greatest. You know what we do. We give a hug, a kiss, peace, and love. See you soon.